When Jill asked me to share my favorite teaching experience, first I felt honored, and then I got somewhat puzzled because I know what my favorite color is, my favorite activity, or my favorite beer. By the way, if you know what my favorite beer is, see me after uh, this <laughs> afternoon at Brandon's, we'll share. Uh, but when it comes to teaching, I never thought about what is my favorite, because teaching is something that I do, that I have to do. And in teaching, I found these practices, programs, and assignments powerful in students' learning, changing, and uh, transforming. Critical thinking, critical reflection. I still struggle with my obligation to squeeze more content into the course, but students need to learn how to learn and what to ask rather than what to learn. Because after all, they all know how to Google, right? So I try to spend more time in uh, processing the materials by facilitating various reflection activities. And sometimes I also do the reflection myself in class with them. After all, again, imitation is a way of learning. And next, I'm gonna talk about service learning. I have love-hate relationship with service learning. <laughs> That means I'm, oh, ooh, okay, back up. Assignments. I found the types of assignments that involve students' uh, actual involvement in producing the information and data very powerful. So I tried to design assignments that involves and requires their, uh, their involvement through observation, interview, or a simple survey among their Facebook friends. They tend to retain the information more and getting excited. Uh, these are some of the reflection comments from students after they had an assignment of interviewing a resident in Ventura County who were impacted by the economic recession. As you can see, they were impacted, they were changed by this assignment. Now, service learning, again, I'm passionate about service learning, although, again, it's love-hate relationship, but I do believe that it transforms one-dimensional academic content into multi-dimensional learning experience through service learning. University 392, I took students to South Korea through University 392, and I don't have to tell you how powerful it is, because picture tells you all. I have to his name in Korean on his hand. They love this so much. Now, the reason why University 392 is powerful is it forces them to get out of comfort zone. When they are out of their own elements, they want to learn, and they experience the joy and the value of learning. This is International Service Learning Project of teaching English at a local middle school. And again, by serving and by teaching, they learn to value learning this particular student kept on saying, I got lost. Sometimes he did it accidentally, and sometimes he did it purposefully. Day six, <laughs> today was really my opportunity to get lost. But for him, the reward for getting lost was precious and powerful because he was able to see his own potential beyond his expectation. Now, my, uh, for me, teaching is my own journey of learning. When I'm passionate about my learning, my students are passionate participants for the same journey. Thank you. I did it!